Zach Morris is trash. It's the first day of senior year. Zach's eager to exploit susceptible freshmen. Like this kid looking for the bathroom. Zach says freshmen pee at home, unless you buy one of his passes. <laughs> it's going to be a long year. Kelly wants to know who found dates for the senior party. Zach says the hard part is turning babes down. A lie. Ann Belding has a C-plot wig. Who cares? Zach spies a new woman to harass and demands her attention. Must be her first day. He'd remember her beautiful face. I bet you say that to all the girls. Well, I do. But this time, I mean it. Zach's corny mind games somehow work. Slater takes the non-creep approach, asking permission to sit. What's her name? Joanna. And where she's from? You know, normal human shit. Zach arrives late. Hey, boys and girls, it's time to rock and roll. Let the party begin. <laughs> to hold up class like an asshole. Zach and Slater both met a girl. Slater says she has a pretty smile. Zach uses her to call another woman ugly. She makes Madonna look like Bart Simpson. Slater sees his special someone. Zach says, no dummy, that's mine. Instead of talking to his close friend of many years. Zach asks if Slater invited her to the party yet so he can beat him to it, instigating an awkward double invite that overwhelms Joanna. Joanna wants time to think. Zach signals they should not leave her alone with her lady thoughts, then kicks Slater's chair to humiliate him. Unlike Slater, Zach does not ask permission to sit down, and crowds them at a desk meant for two. Causing a scene, Zach tries to resolve with unwanted touching, landing them all extra homework. Slater apologizes for Zach. Zach offers to help Joanna do the punitive assignments with a study session at his place tonight. Slater wants to take her to a movie tomorrow. A real date. Instead of Zach's sad transparent attempt to graze a butt cheek while reaching for a pencil. Put her heads together so our minds can touch. Really? Go with it. It's a proven study technique. Slater interrupts Zach's sham studies to say he owes him $20 and he's here to work it off. A valiant effort to guard this young lady in peril and remove Zach's homework that is surely just a list of sneaky ways to touch a thigh. Zach tells him to beat it. Joanna feels bad because Zach is acting like a jerk. Then invites Slater to join because if they are, in fact, here to study, the more the merrier. Slater takes Joanna on a legitimate date. Zach has Screech pose as a menacing usher, then hires a woman pretending to be Slater's mom to say Slater invited her to the movies. I've never met this woman before in my life. How could you treat me this way on my birthday? Real classy touch. Screech corroborates the despicable story of Slater's mom poster. Joanna, mortified, makes room for this stranger while Zack gloats. Slater accurately feels that wrecking his date by making it look like he hates his mother was too low, even for Zack. Zack says it was retaliation. Forgetting his chair kick started all of this. Zack escalates his smack talk with a weak shove, and after getting shoved back, sucker punches Slater in the face. Slater, a trained fighter, defends himself and uses his body to end Zack's spasmatic flailing. Belding realizes this must be over a girl. He warns 22 years ago, a woman ruined one of his friendships forever. Zack's simple ass wonders what the very obvious point of that story is. Belding makes them shake and agree to move on. But instead of moving on, Zack hounds Joanna about the party. She's not going with either of you, dumbass. Zack immediately runs his mouth. Zack enters the party pouting. Where's Slater? Slater who? Very mature. Slater wishes everyone a great year, then politely removes himself from Zack's toxic environment. Zack bullies Slater, who just wants a drink, then splashes him. The fuck kind of move is that? Slater defends himself from Zack's attacks, then helps Zack with the only chance of getting his dick wet anytime soon. Belding intervenes, and Zack feels safe enough to get physical again. Belding's C-plot wig falls off, and their shared laughter offers a moment of clarity. Slater, of course, makes the first apology. And we never see Joanna ever again. Because after the misery Zach put her through in the first week of a new school, she probably fucking killed herself. Let's review. Zach Morris called dibs on the new girl, but after she hit it off with Slater, tried to pressure her into a date. When she wanted time and space to think, gave her neither, and commenced his violence. Then tried to fix the consequences of his behavior with a bogus study trap. And when Slater took Joanna on an actual date, framed him for scorning his mother on her birthday. But instead of apologizing, kept pushing. Then sucker punched his friend over a girl he met two days ago. And learned nothing. Continuing his harassment and assault, and couldn't be the first to say sorry and never apologize to Joanna, Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash.